Welcome back, and we are here with another video. I am AGZ here, Yay! your host, and we are back with another video of Noah Dennis. I recorded him before, but the audio didn't catch it. So we are going to be watching how to stop gooning yourself. No fat, and you know, it ain't good for the brain. You know, you know. Men's mental health, you know, we gotta get it up there, get it strong, y'all. A high testosterone. You know, we gotta we gotta be on our purpose. Is that what they say? We gotta focus up. We're gonna start the video. I guess now. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this up so it ain't gonna be too long. Self-pleasuring has arguably got to be one of the hardest challenges guys face nowadays. And with the media uh, not really high... Hold on. Son of a bitch! Ain't gonna be able to hear me. Problems that comes with that and how that negatively impacts your life. It's no wonder why so many guys do it so often. And masturbation for me personally was so bad, I would go nice thinking that if I didn't stroke my turkey, I wouldn't be able to sleep. And even looking for confirmation bias mm -hmm. online to justify why I should be doing this. But then the question came to my mind of what if I stopped masturbating entirely? And the benefits I experienced after I posed this question to myself was insane. Mm -hmm. And ironically, this is where I discovered the NoFap movement, and I've been on NoFap for over five years now. And mm -hmm. the thing is, once you're made aware of the benefits of this, you'll never think to stroke your turkey again. again. Man, I didn't do the, the going to sleep thing. It was more like, it was just bad. High school, it was just, you know, everybody had to go through it. Not everybody, but most, most of us went through that. I'm still, you know. Chucking through this shit. This shit is hard. <laughs> As I'm doing YouTube, so this can stop. Well, not stop, but you know, you gotta replace bad habits with good habits. So, so it's just like, what if I, what if you did stop? You just feel so much. You have a lot of energy. It's, it's crazy. It's like a superpower. It's pretty much what he's gonna be saying in this video. But yeah, too, man. It ain't good. It ain't good. Man, you better fucking stop it. Oh, my, oh my mom. <gasps> okay, bro, I'm not gonna waste any time. When you stop masturbating entirely, you're gonna see an increase in your energy and motivation to not only get things done, but see an increase in your testosterone, which, if yeah. you guys didn't know, is the male hormone responsible for muscle growth, yeah. masculine characteristics like competitiveness, and a go-getter mentality. And the thing is, bro, when your shit is low, that's the reason why you can't get much shit done because it lowers your energy levels throughout the day. Constantly wanking and jerking off the turkey to rated R filthy movies makes you less ambitious, especially if you're doing that shit repeatedly. Like, you guys seen the study? Guys on average do it like about once a week. That's not good. And you yeah. know it's not good because after you do it, you feel tired and you feel almost ashamed of yourself. Like, you're a goblin just wanking it off to pixelated screens. Not Man, doing what? Anything with your life. It's a waste of time. It's and because of that waste of time, that trickles down into other areas of your life because you're investing so much time stroking that that you forget about other aspects like your fitness, your finance, and even your relationships. Like, if you're not going out and meeting girls or meeting people in general, you're going to succumb to instant gratification activity and harmful activities such as masturbation. And it's no bueno that you feel bad because it's your subconscious telling you that you could be doing better. Straight up. Mm -hmm. And this is coming from someone who used to be a meat beater. And after abstaining from it myself and talking to friends who have actually stopped doing this for a long time, period of time they also reported to have higher levels of energy throughout the day and a more i guess zest for life once pee, -pee touching is out of the equation like yeah. i'm gonna make you aware that the minuscule benefits that you get from fapping or gooning or whatever terminology you want to use pales in comparison to the benefits that you get when you abstain from this and yeah it's and it kind of it's like they're kind of like trying to twist it so you can have so you don't do nothing in society so you won't be productive and sex is like, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's on social media. It's slowly like, it's killing Instagram. Instagram is slowly just turning into a whole, just like, just like Twitter. Twitter been gone. Twitter been gone for years. 
to to the Megong, all the other sites. It's like they slowly going to each and every site, and it's when you yeah, like you said, you get so much energy. It's it's wild how much energy you have. I took some B12, so <laughs> I'm have extra energy, and to like it's it's. You just gotta control your emotions. You gotta control it. Even though, you know, you got, like he said, it's all in the mind. All in the mind. Like these qualities. No fabbers. High energy, all oh, this better sleep. Yeah. You can wake up. Wake up with energy. And I'm talking about benefits in your emotional well being. So, like, when you go throughout. I'm glad I'm watching this too. Shit. You won't be ruminating, stuck in your head, sexualizing everybody and everything that you see, wanting to go beat your meat on autopilot when you sense a little bit of discomfort in your life. Like, you just exist normally and be able to function properly. And let's take it over to the physical aspects. Remember how I mentioned testosterone earlier? That's responsible for muscle growth and other components of being a man. If your testosterone levels are low, you're not going to be able to do shit, which you already already know so when you abstain from that that's also gonna help you out physically so you don't look like a freaking like subhuman and yeah then if you want to even take it to the financial aspects because it does affect you financially because of your testosterone levels getting higher due to you abstaining from this entirely your well you gotta use the monkeys because remember when you have high levels of testosterone that's potential with earning more money and so now that i've made you aware of the benefits bro a good frame of mind to stop this entirely so you're not being a pp me beater no more is to see this and this is gonna help you out too is to see this as something that's extremely gay like yeah super gay because you're essentially stroking your turkey beating off to the girl that you want getting railed and pounded by the guy on the screen and you're just sitting there in your little corner of your room looking at the pixels on your screen being a cuck while he's just doing that, you know what I mean? And think about it, it's, it's kind of like you sit, you're seeing his pee-pee too while doing it, you know what I mean? I know it sounds a little funny when I'm saying it that way, but like, that's a good frame of mind to like, look at it whenever you whenever you have the thought to do it. And because of that frame of mind, it's gonna make you wanna abstain from it that much more. But even then, that's just a little extra bonus. It's all cool. framing tip that's gonna help you. But even then, if you at least go two weeks, and yes, two weeks without doing this at all, you're gonna just notice like the benefits you get from it, from your energy boost throughout the day, when you're more productive and have like a bigger sense of ambition for your life so remove this shit entirely please what well, is that the end of the damn video president calvin coolidge yeah yeah is this it's all true it's all true hey man y'all gotta y'all gotta get your pp under control get your habits Just a reminder for me to keep going. Yeah. <laughs> it is gay shit though. <laughs> I can't even lie. That shit is. It's just. Especially if you get too accustomed to it. And, uh. And we're gonna end it off right here. Shit. Please, hey, like to subscribe if you like what's going on on my channel. I'm gonna be posting more videos and we'll keep growing. We'll keep growing. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Check, check, went till with the oldies.